I'm 100% Canadian, born and raised in Oakville, and my parents are from Germany and English, but we have some Spanish uh, as well on my dad's side. When I was young, we, we would travel a lot. We would go to different countries in the Caribbean, different islands, so I developed a, a real affinity for the Latin culture, and of course that influenced me to this day. very young age my dad introduced me to classical music. He actually studied opera singing so he was very much into classical music and I think that was a great blessing for me. The melodicism of that period and also the the way they would orchestrate and uh, have counterpoint. All that sort of classical way of thinking I like to integrate that into my music which of course is Latin based. I started when I was about eight, um, took a few lessons then, and then I started lessons again when I was about 12. So altogether, I probably took maybe about a year's worth of like weekly lessons. Um, but I was very self-motivated, like my parents didn't have to say, you have to practice. Actually, once I got that guitar in my hand, I, I just became obsessed with it. I was very artistic before that. I used to do a lot of drawing. So my mind already had that love for creativity. And then when I switched to the guitar at about eight years old, slowly my interest in drawing started to wane, but my obsession with guitar uh, really flowered and blossomed, and I started to learn as many different styles as I could. I was interested in jazz and rock and classical, uh, pretty much anything. I do like to, on an album, have many different keys. I don't like to stick to just two or three. So um, if I can, I try to incorporate as many different keys and modes as well. Not just a minor mode or not just a major mode, but oftentimes I'll use uh, like a Phrygian mode. Cha-cha-chu is based on the cha-cha-cha rhythm, so it's kind of a play on that, on that uh, style or that word, cha-cha-cha. I actually knew a, a Chinese girl named Chu, so I, I kind of named it after her. Because I started writing that song actually um, a few years ago, but I, I kind of shelved it. I never really did anything with it. That one has the typical cha-cha-cha rhythm in it, but I'm adding electric to it. Well, 100% music is, is my life, you know. That and, of course, family and, and yoga. But at the core of it, music has given me so much, so I, I always honor that and respect that. And I think this album, Azul, is really a turning point for me because I am singing on a couple songs and I've added a lot of electric guitar into many of the songs. So to me, this is like a real transitional album and I'm having a lot of fun with the electric, so definitely the electric is here to stay as well.
having the diversity that we have in Canada and living close to Toronto is really a blessing because this area we have so many different cultures so when I'm recording an album and I think to myself you know what a certain instrument would really work well there well there's a musician in Toronto that knows how to play that instrument whatever it is so it's like this wealth of talent that we have here in Canada and I like to tap into that you know I don't want to be just a guitar player I want to be um, this musician that, that brings cultures together and brings ideas together and brings people together and that's the power of music that music can do that that music can embrace so many different cultures it destroys borders it destroys stereotypes and it shows you that how everything can work together in sync, in harmony, and create something so beautiful.